everybody. Welcome to another episode of Talking Time with Caffeine. You know me, I'm Vinday1998, and my co-host Mike be here. So, here's my new, my new co-host. Introduce yourself. Hello, I am Melissa Todd, also known as Curion's Mama, and I am here to talk about rude people. That is the topic of today. Also, you can see our Twitters are down below. You want, you want to tweet us? It's now. We're famous now. <laughs> uh, I can your rude people there. Okay. I am sick of rude people. It's like people have no manners at all. And you would think that the older generation would have better manners because you know, back then most people did. But... Maybe that's, probably a, see. maybe that's just a rumor. Maybe they just say they are, they are very behave, but maybe they really weren't, you know? Maybe that's they're... true. That's true because, you know, there was no internet, so we don't have proof. We don't have status updates of them, you know, they really were, so. And they could be senile and forget that they were really just some rude asses back in the 30s or... <laughs> so, the, um... But yeah, there was this lady, this was about three weeks ago, at the Wendy's in Vandalia. I go through the drive-thru, I get something to eat, and I park in the parking lot. So I'm sitting there eating, get ready to pull out, and I see this little old lady getting out of her car with a walker, and just by herself. So she was going in to eat, so I thought, well, I will park my car, I will get out, walk to the door, open it for her, and she'll say thank you, you know, call me a good deed for the day. So I did. I opened the door, she walked through, and kept going. I didn't get a thank you, I didn't get a, well, bless your heart, I didn't. It could have been worse. <laughs> at least at least you said nothing. Uh, some yeah. guy would be like, I can do that. I, some guy would be like, I can do that. I, I, I can do that myself. I don't need help. Right, right. That's true. I would have been like, no, you couldn't. No. <laughs> so, I thought, well, it's not going to keep me from, you know, I'm just, I have manners. I open the door for people. Them saying thank you is nice. They don't say it. sometimes. I'll be like, You're welcome. You know, just get through your head that the least I could do is say thank you because I didn't have to hold that door for you. So, yeah, that's just one instance of rude people, but there's a lot of them out there these days. I don't know what the problem is, but they need to stop bringing it to work. Oh, uh, yeah. You want to give any shout-outs to anybody that you know? Uh, let's see. Hmm. I don't know. Uh, I think somebody on your page might know my brother. It's be common. Are you dating my sister? So, I don't know. Depending on why he asked, shout-out to him. Get his name. <laughs> Uh, he does brother, so. And let's see. Class 99 is for you. Um. <laughs> what, 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 you're below me, my class. Yep. Yep, my brother graduated in 97. I was 99. And you were, yeah, you were 90. Wait, 97. Or Yay. Hence my, right. my name. That's in, in my name. Yes, there it is. <laughs> She's a bond. <laughs> uh, well, I saw your video of the ear thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's another thing. Um, people would have something to say. Maybe. You know, I mean, it's not like she's a baby. I didn't force her to do it. So five in February, we go to Walmart all the time, we go through the uh, interesting part, and I was asking her, do you want to get your ears pierced? She always said no. So this time she said yes. 
he had to wait for this baby that could have been more than a month old to get her ears pierced, and she screamed. So my daughter had to see how painful it was, and she still wanted to do it. Nobody held her down. She got done. She cried. She was over it in like 10 seconds. So I posted on uh, my Facebook page the video and on my mom's Facebook page. Well, she has some older friends who, I guess, have different views on, you know, what, how, what's the best age to uh, put your ears. So, one of them said, well, clearly she, so many words, clearly she didn't like it because she was crying, and that's too young, and I'm just thinking, maybe I'm your business. And I said, um, she did willingly, nobody forced her, she's almost five, I think it's a good age to do it anyway, and, and you, have you know, the evidence to you, you're holding her down. Yeah, exactly. And, like, I figured once the guy had one ear, she would chicken out and want the other one done, which would kind of suck. I guess I'd have to take that out and let it feel up because I don't want to walk around with one earring. But I didn't, didn't have to hold her down or nothing. And people still have stuff to say. It's So the other ear is lighter than the first ear? Uh, yeah. I, I did the first time. It's like, oh. Yeah, you kind of know what to expect. It's like when you get your first like I first got my first time got my uh even I was like uh flu shot a few years ago my flu shot in a long time. Like first time I did I was like I was holding right like, down, you know, holding on my like now it's not that so bad that it's still a little bit. I'm not I'm not between the wall. Right. I am. I mean I think at this age you know, like babies get shots and everything, they're they uh, what's the word, I guess resilient. You know, it's like as soon as they get over stuff and they can handle stuff better than some adults do. You know, we'll be like, Oh my arm where they took blood, you know, kids don't even think about it. they're like, Oh, look at the cool band aid you know, they're over it. <laughs> Most adults were less resilient still <laughs> faster or something. Yeah, they do. Yeah. Right. The older I get, the, the uh, slower I heal because mosquitoes love me and they ate me this summer. I hate mosquitoes. I want them extinct. They are rude. <laughs> I, I, when I was a kid, I was this food change and apparently I found back 600 mosquitoes in, in an hour. Oh. Just get grabbed. A little bit from the bath to carry on with you on a leash and it's pillaged inside of you. That's neat. Oh my gosh. And I've seen some flying around me, tell ya. Like, just you know, out of the blue. And at first I'll think it's a bird, and I'm like, no, oh, it's like 11 p.m. And I just know oh, it's a bat. I should definitely get one. They're creepy looking things, but I mean. And that what I spray on me, mosquitoes will bite the crap out of me. Yeah. If you try, I haven't tried those things yet. Those uh, apparently there's a little like little force field things. I don't know if they work or not. Oh, with um, yeah, like it's got, like a little fan in it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they're pretty expensive. That's why I never did try it. And I've seen where it, I think it only lasts like twelve hours. Uh, like uh, I need of to course, last a lifetime. Of course, you know, I'm not is it an on-off switch? Um, I'm not sure. When I seen the price, I didn't look at it too hard. <laughs> You're not using that for 12 hours at a time. Exactly. Yeah. Right. Um, hour here, hour there. Unless you're, out camping, or, unless you're out camping or something. Yeah. Uh, also, uh, anyways, I think a little article about uh, there's a home shelter in like South Carolina or something, I think. Mm -hmm. And they this group of atheists dropped off dropped off like a caregiver, you know. And you don't want that you're an atheist. Wow. You have an agenda. So like, dude, we're just trying to help the home like we don't care. Yeah, like if it 
there was some anthrax in there or something, that would be one thing, but, I mean, come on, like, so what, they're, they're atheists, they're trying to do a good deed. Yeah, it was soap, and some, some soap, some candles, you know, and some toothbrushes, and underwear. Yeah, how dare they? <laughs> no, because they can't be good, nice people at all. Right, right. Yeah. Uh, they you know, they hate God, I guess they care about people stinking and you know, clean tea. They don't really hate God. Uh, yeah, well, that's true. They just, just don't believe in them. <laughs> uh, oh. Another thing, uh what what do you consider a sell out? Um uh, depends on uh like Give me an example, like... Well, this YouTuber I watched, uh, a few weeks ago, she uh, advertised this little cool uh, app thing, you know, and I guess, for, for the thing, people want to sell it, because you're trying to make, she's making money off of YouTube, you know? But, I don't consider it a sell, you know, if you sell stuff, you know, like, 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 if some, I'm selling a can of, advertising a can of peas, and I hate peas, like, I'm like, the best peas ever. Give me money. <laughs> that, that is, my money. That's my that be out. Yeah, I agree. Not, I agree. Not make it like your money from something. No, make it something you totally disagree with, and you wouldn't even touch it with your own hands. That's a yeah. Yeah, I agree with that definitely. Uh, you, you know, yeah, you know, you ever, no, if you just can't talk, have you ever been one that sold out to anything like for money? Um, hmm, let me see, that's not really, not what I can think of, hey, I'm sure when we get off here, we'll be like, oh yeah, that one, that one guy, ah, spell out. This is how I've been texting before. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and I, and I, I video I saw you the fan house in the last comment section. Oh, yes. yes. I'm so popular. Oh. Yeah, oh, your Twitter. Don't forget to you check your Twitter. You, know, so you might, might have to yeah. check your Twitter, you know, and get people because you, know, you might have to do fan now on your Twitter. That is true. That is true. I have not been on there since we talked last. I completely forgot about Twitter. I'm just not a tweeter. But I guess I better get tweeting because I can't probably... 2,000 requests. They're like, Oh my god, I see you on YouTube. Let you go. Uh, <laughs> I was like, Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I, it's, it's been fun. I, t tomorrow, I'm going up, the, up early and going to get my nieces getting married. Oh, what what part of the scene? Uh, like up, right near Gatlinburg, I think. Oh, I love Gatlinburg. Oh, it's going to be so pretty down there. And I'm gaining two, a, a new, I'm going to get, I'm going to gain a step great nephew, step great niece. That is awesome. I think they're, my, my sister told me they were like 11 and 12. Okay. That's cool. Well, I hope you have fun and have a safe trip. Are you driving by yourself? No, I'm going to have my brother-in-law, my other niece, and his sister. Okay. That'll be cool, yeah. It'll be really, really pretty down there, because I think it's like, about this time, when, you know, the colors really start to bloom in Tennessee a little bit later in Ohio, but... Of course. But. Yeah, but of course, you know, before the trip, but my, they cut my arrows back at I just tapped into my savings account to, for the, to pay for the trip. Yeah. I was hoping, of course, that's what I, what I was there for, you know, this. For, yeah. <laughs> for you tell me what you say for. <laughs> I try to touch it. I try not to touch yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. That'll be worth it. Is, are you uh, taking vacation days from work? Well, I don't have vacation. 
we, we have vacation days. Oh, what do they call them? We have them of just working. Not getting paid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Go have fun, but you can't get paid. See you when you get back. Better be on time. <laughs> they asked me why they back again, like in like, Tennessee. It can be run down there, come back in an hour. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I think uh, that one hurts about, what, five hours or something? Well, six five for straight on a straight drive. Without, yeah. Including, it takes an hour to get, it's like an hour to Cincinnati. And the other thing is Kentucky. Yeah. And that's about the things. And, yeah. And, and trap, I'm like, I'll have to get in that all. Slower fact traffic. That's true, yeah. Mostly it's uh, 70 miles an hour through Kentucky and most of Tennessee. Yeah, I've been to Gatlinburg. I know it takes exactly seven hours to get to Lynchburg, Tennessee. Home of the Jack Daniels Distillery. Uh, is, that the, is that the place where, I think it's Russell, where they sell up, they can't, can't sell up because it's a dry county yeah. or something? Yep, it's a dry county. They, they make it there. That you can buy commemorative bottles in the little shop that they have there. You can't just crack it open and drink it. Like you have to take it and you know go. <laughs> they have to- there's, a, there's a liquor store. I think it's maybe maybe ten minutes away in a different county, but that's where everybody goes. You know to, uh, when they leave there because you're so thirsty. <laughs> so, so like you can get this, make it here, but you can't drink. Yeah, it's so weird. You know what I thought? Like it's. So odd, it's weird, but but uh, every time I went there, I always go to Jack Daniel's grave and sit there and crack open a bottle and around me, you know, make sure uh, no uh, Lynch or Moore County cops were out there. Cause that would suck. <laughs> uh, oh, enjoy your weekend. I will. You enjoy the weather and everything, and take some pictures. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to do a video there. My mom can't go. So, oh. Warm, since it's her granddaughter. Yeah. All right. That's cool. All right. I'll, I'll, make, maybe I'll make some videos on, on here next time. We'll put it on the, on the way on, on here. That's a good idea. All right. We'll see you all next time. Okay, bye. Carry on as mom out. Everyone, Woo! always remember to enjoy the randomness. Always. <laughs>